So let's pick back our chipboard book covers and first pick the right flap. So the right flap goes on the right side of our book and over here you'll notice it's slightly shorter than our book covers and you just have to stick it down leaving like a say one inch gap between uh, from the edge of the chipboard mm -hmm. and let's fix our pockets the smaller pockets and these go onto this flap again at the bottom just centering it all leaving a nice one eighth inch of a border on all the three sides so you could also do this after fixing your pattern paper on the right flap um, in fact that would be easier because we have our pattern paper and then we have the pocket on top so that can also be done else we can just then later put a pattern paper piece over here just till the uh, place where the pocket begins and have a different pattern paper piece there so anything that you think is convenient for you should work here so again let's fix the other pocket on the back of this flap <music> So with that our flap bit is complete and now let's assemble our waterfall. So the waterfall base goes in between here again leaving a nice distance on all the four sides. So your uh, mark over here a reference point could be this piece that we stuck on our spine and both were seven and a half so that's a great way of aligning this waterfall base and it starts just where that piece ends so giving you a nice or rather a little bit on top of it actually yeah a little bit on top of it giving you a nice quarter inch border on all the four sides next we can start sticking down our waterfall flaps now again these are uh, half an inch shorter than the width of the base so that would give you a quarter inch on the left and the right side. So the first flap align it with the topmost edge of the waterfall base and stick it down. <music> same way continue sticking all the flaps so where does the next flap go you open up the first flap and the folded edge meets the end of the edge of the first flap and that way you just continue fixing all the flaps so with that done now we have all our waterfall flaps in place and the right side of the book is complete so that is how it's going to be so this flap opens up and then we have a waterfall now we need to assemble the accordion pocket on the left side so first let's fix uh, stick down the top flap which is going to close the pocket again here the reference point is going to be this line so the 7.5 center piece is exactly where we want to align the pocket and again it's going to leave a quarter inch border on all the four sides so first let's get our top flap down the bottom of the pocket is going to align with the bottom edge of this center spine piece so just remove the tape backing first hold the pocket down in place don't stick it yet first make sure to align it so that we have a nice quarter inch gap at the bottom and then make sure to hold the flaps down and see that the two sides meet on our pocket and then once you're happy 
gently place it down on one side first and then the next side and then open the flap and for this now just go inside and burnish the pocket so that it sticks down to our base that gives us a nice broad pocket there you can see the depth and that could hold a lot of recipe cards it could in fact even hold a notepad easily with that done our base is complete now we just need to decide how we want to keep all of these things closed so an idea for the accordion pocket instead of using a magnet or anything else would be is to just secure it on two sides with regular paper clips so this is another uh, option of closing pockets and it's just something very easy and handy you don't have to put in a lot of effort there and every time you want to open this sort of twist the paper clips so for now we'll uh, close the pocket with the paper clips next we need to secure our entire waterfall so now you have options for this as well you could always put a magnet on the front of the waterfall and a magnet all the way at the back to just keep it all intact also what you could do is you could use string and tie this complete unit and then for the flap to close we can have a magnet here and then it closes with the magnet all the way at the end so any of these things can be done to secure all of this together so what we will do is we will use some of the paper issues jute cord to hold the entire waterfall unit in place so we have to do all of this before we go into matting our pages and let's do that so again some double sided sticky tape would be enough to hold it all in place so firstly going all the way at the back let's use some tape and stick the cord down so that holds our waterfall down in place and now all we have to do is get this piece done so over here again we can use a cord if we wish to just add some string here and here and do that or we can use some magnets so we'll use two magnets here and we'll magnetize them with the discs on the first flap itself ensure that our magnets stick down really well what we like to do is apply a little bit of the tacky glue and then get the magnet down in place to further secure it we'll use some double sided tape and seal the magnet so that way we know it's going to remain intact in its place and then just add our discs onto the magnet add a drop of tacky glue and close the flap press down and that gives us the spot for our magnetic discs so you can add a little more glue there and glue the discs down so with that done now our entire units are closed and we need to make another closure for the book itself so for that what we'd like to do is use some ribbon so add a piece of ribbon on the front cover same way with a little glue and double sided tape and on the back cover just before we mat next now all we have to do is cut pieces of our pattern paper and mat the book to 
finish it up so we're just gonna give you measurements for that as well so uh, for this book uh, we've already prepped our uh, pattern paper pieces and the best thing is you can use the 6x6 paper pack to mat the entire inside of the book so you need just one 12 by 12 uh, sheet for the outside of the book so the measurements for that would be for the front cover and for the back cover it's going to be the same measurement which is five and a half by seven seven eighths so we pick this paper and that would be our front and then our back so it's 5.5 by 778 and for the spine what we did was we used the top of the same paper and the measurement for that is 1 3 8 by 7 7 8 and we still had some paper remaining so we've cut it down for the inside spine which is 1 3 8 by 7 and a half so those are the spine front and back cover pieces now what we like to do is use double sided tape again and add all of it to our pattern paper pieces and then just stick it all down so next coming to the accordion pocket now we need two pieces for the flap that would be the front and the back and this is what we've got the measurement for that is two and a half by four seven eighth inches the front of the pocket itself is five three eight by four seven eight and we need another small piece just to mat the inside over here and the measurement for that is four seven eight by two inches so those are all the pieces for our accordion pocket so what we like to do is uh, just so that there is no confusion later on we make a note of all the measurements like we've done here and then cut our pattern paper pieces use paper clips and have segments ready so that when we actually get down to matting all we do is pick that section complete matting that part so just makes things easier so that and then now moving on to our right flap over here so that now the right flap the front base that's this bit the section over here like uh, we told you earlier you could always mat the piece and then add your pocket or you could do what we've done here so we've cut it down to four seven eight by four and a half and that can go there and then our pocket the front pocket is 478 by 278 so that goes there and the back of the flap same way the base uh, is 478 by 478 inches and the pocket measures 478 by two and a half inches so that's our complete right flap and then moving on to the waterfall unit uh, the waterfall flaps all of these five flaps the measurement for that is 438 by 478 now here you have an option you could mat both sides of the flap or you could mat just one side of the flap so what we decided to do was mat the fronts of the flap and over here we'll leave some space for a recipe card that can be later added on so that's the reason why we've cut just five mats but if you want to mat both the sides then you cut 10 pieces so the measurement for the flap again is 438 inches by 478 inches so those are the flaps and all the way at the end the base of the waterfall the measurement for that is five inches into five inches and again you could also mat each of these um, gaps between the flaps mini spines if you could say so the measurement for that is 438 
and uh, approximately half inch is just a point less than half inch so we haven't cut that out we thought that we'll first match this complete thing and decide if we want something there but uh, nevertheless giving you the measurements for that so this is all you need to mat the complete book so we're just going to now now that our mats are cut we're just going to apply two-way tape on the backs of each of these mats and come back to show you a bit of the matting as well as uh, some more uh, details about how to place the embellishments so all our uh, pattern paper pieces have double sided tape on their back now and we're good to start sticking them onto the album but before that another thing for this accordion pocket you could use a corner uh, chomper and just round the corners of the flap so at this stage you can use any decorative punch or anything that you have just to give that uh, flap a nice decorative edge so keeping it on the half inch side we're just going to round the corners and same way we're going to round the mat uh, pieces of our uh, the matting pattern paper pieces so that when we stick them they match the base and now we can begin matting so you could go anyway so let's start with the matting the inside so the pocket first <music> completed the matting of the entire uh, recipe book and we're just going to flip through everything to show you how it all looks together so that's the front cover so what we did was we cut this out from the sh sheet uh, the 6x6 paper pack and just used some foam tape and did layering so these are all the fussy cut elements from the element sheet and just layered them all with foam tape and on the spine as well we added some of the additional elements and layered them all with foam tape so to give it a 3d look and that's the back and what we did was we used these two cute uh, mittens and stuck them on the paper clip so it just adds another extra element over there and looks quirky as the closure now these are again from the element sheet so what we did was we cut them mounted them on some black cardstock fussy cut and use some foam tape for the dimension now this pocket is pretty uh, deep it can hold many many cards many uh, things in it also what we were thinking was of just inserting like a notepad with a pen so it could be something that uh, you can carry around while going to a cookery class or you know just insert the book that has all your recipes right there in that and this is another good pocket here again more room for cards recipes etc and then that opens up to another pocket and this cute waterfall so like we mentioned earlier we've left this blank for a later time uh, to add some recipe cards but that's a look at the entire waterfall matted so that completes our uh, little sort of recipe file if you can call it or recipe album recipe book anything and <clears throat> this waterfall and these pockets give enough room for one to sort of put a picture of the dish that they've cooked along with the recipe so that completes the entire album we really hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial and we look forward to your own creation now of course this was something made uh, keeping in mind 
the Kiss My Cook collection, but you can always use any other pattern paper and create another album altogether with a different theme. And all you do is insert photo mats for people to put their pictures. So until our next time, take care and bye bye. Mm-hmm.